All right, so this is just a review of the normal distribution and some, some important properties of the normal distribution. Um, to get started, remember what our normal distribution is. That's this curve that's a bell-shaped curve. All right, and we're going to look at some important properties of it. Now, our example is going to imagine that we have a distribution like this with a mean of 500 and a standard deviation of 12. All right, we're going to use that these facts about the normal distribution, and that's what we need to know is the mean and deviation um, to say more about the distribution of these scores themselves. All right, so to do so with R, we can create a distribution of, here I'm using 10,000 points um, with a mean of 500 and standard deviation of 12 to create an array of variables that have that kind of distribution. And we'll turn it into a data frame. See that we have a range of scores around 500, you know, on both sides. And then we can draw a plot of those scores. So once we do it, again, we we are saying that this does, and indeed this looks normal, but we kind of, because we made it so, but either way, um, here we see that kind of center at 500 and also the spread of 12. Now, what do we know about normal distributions and their spreads? Well, first is that 68% of the data will be one standard deviation away from the mean. So if I go, I know that the standard deviation is 12. So if I go 12 in this direction and I go 12 in this direction, then what I have is 68% of the data here. So where is that? Well, just add 12 and subtract 12 from that mean of 500 and we get 512 and 488. So 488 and 512. Oops. 512. So that's 68% of the data. If we want 95% of the data, we have another rule that within two standard deviations of the mean, 95% of the data will be there in a normal distribution. So to figure that out, we just take and multiply uh, 2 times 12 and add that to 500 we get 524 and 476. Last is we know that within three standard deviations of the mean is 99% of the data. And we take and add and subtract three standard deviations from the mean from 500, we get 536 and 464. So 536, right, is out here. And for, what was the other one? 464 is also kind of out in the tail here. So that should make sense that about 95, you know, if we draw those boundaries, we've got about 95% of the data captured in here. All right, so that's the first important rule about our normal distributions is that within one, two, and three standard deviations of the mean, we know that 68, 95, or 99% of the data uh, is within.